Hello, folks. Welcome to IoT Time. I am Ken Briota, Editorial Director for IoT Evolution World, and we are here at the IoT Evolution Expo talking about some of the most exciting technology in the IoT industry today. We're pretty excited because we just came off of the Battle of the Platforms. It was bloodthirsty, the claws were out, and the teeth were biting as some of the best platforms in the industry really presented themselves well. And we have one of our contestants right here. We've got Scripter. To, and the beauty of what they make is that it takes a moron like me and allows me to build actual code logic into an IoT solution and make it work better. Take me from prototype into production into making something that's practically useful. What I want to know is how that works and why that works. But first, tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Scripter. I'm the founder of Scripter. I've been in the industry for a very long time. Let's not uh, put a figure there. Uh, <laughs> so I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've uh, started a bunch of companies over the years, sold some. Uh, some uh, got mer uh, I mean, transformed into, into others. And, uh, and so far, I've uh, launched Scripter less than a year ago, actually like nine months ago. And... Uh, you know, we're looking uh, towards uh, making a splash. You know, may, helping people create awesome IoT applications. We believe, we believe we do. Okay. We believe we uh, we help uh, uh, you know IoT solution builders save a lot of time and a lot of money during the lifetime of their uh, of their application with uh, with the scripted technology. So I'm going to play devil's advocate here for a minute. Why does it matter? Why does it matter that, that there's real code underneath this? I mean, why can't I just say, ah, I'll just lay the UI on top of whatever and it'll be oh. fine? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I see where you're coming from. Uh, so, like, you know, we hear this every, every, re every time there's a new technology coming, uh, you know, for the past, ever since I started uh, my career. Uh, there's the promise of we don't need to code, we drag and drop stuff. Uh, there's a, the visual paradigms. You do this, you do visual this and visual that, and which works in certain cases for sure. And there are some pretty neat concepts uh, in, in, in that realm. However, so as as the name suggests, we we call scripter scripter because of scripting. Uh, you know, IoT is like it's like other IT. I mean, the problems we find in IoT are like other problems we find in IT, and actually they're complex. And solving complex uh, problems, uh, you know, you need to code for, <laughs> to solve these, you know, you need to code business logic, you need to code interactions, interfaces. All that requires a lot of complex logic. And unfortunately, still today, the, uh, the only proper way to do that, uh, powerful, efficient way to do that, is, in, is through code. So what we set on doing, I mean, since, since it is what it is, what we set on doing is to simplify for the people that are developing that logic, uh, everything around their business logic. So we don't want people to uh, waste time on uh, figuring out integrations with uh, uh, you know, uh, IoT systems or social networks or uh, you know, lower level uh, systems. Work the grunt work, uh, they don't have to waste time on DevOps, they don't have to waste time on uh, you know, configuring their IDE, and you know, what, all, all the steps uh, that are necessary during a development and deployment life cycle. Uh, we've simplified all that, and we told, practically our message to the developer mm -hmm. is you go to, on Scripter, uh, you open an account, and you write that piece of business logic that you need to drive all or part of your uh, application. And, and immediately that transforms into a scalable and secure service. For that, instance. An API. That, for instance, yeah. if the wet bandits come through my front door, then release paint cans down the stairs. That, that's an amazing demo. We're going to blog about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make, what is that, a 20-year-old reference now, <laughs> at least? The, so, the thing with yeah. the IoT that may be different from other types of uh, software development is that, obviously, there is hardware. You've got your edge sensors, you've got, you know, even if you're a cloud, that's got to live somewhere. So you've got to be able to work from that, a, a prototype of a piece of hardware and a piece of software communicating with each other in a, in a practical way. And, and I know that you guys really feel like your strength is in helping, helping a developer 
build a prototype that then works for production for yeah. for the process. Right. Why why does that matter? Why is that right. in a, a business objective? Uh, uh, great question, and that joins what I said earlier. So in a product development life cycle, you start with a prototype. Then that's what usually happens. People write code, you know, uh, dirty, chicken wire, code. yeah, chicken wire and bubble gum, <laughs> dirty stuff. It, they just you know use it to show that something works. Sometimes it's more robust than just chicken wire and bubble gum, mm -hmm. but still. But then taking that into production, into the real life situation, most of the time, I've, you know, also like from what I've seen, 95% uh, of the time you have to rewrite everything to make it uh, production, to, to make it uh, uh, p possible to run it at scale. Well, that's the that's the real hang up is the scalability right. of it. So yeah, so so you've spent an X amount of days developing the prototype, then you have to make the investment again into the production system, which requires a whole set of different skills, not just developers, DevOps, etc. That's a lot of cost. Then over the lifetime of the application, there are certain maintenance steps that you have to keep uh, doing to uh, to keep your application ticking, and, and and you spend a lot of time and, and money into that. Uh, uh, into the, uh, in the life cycle of your application. Mm -hmm. uh, what Scripter helps you do is you develop your logic once in the prototype. If it works, if your logic works, everything else around it is geared to make it scale at production. And you don't need to maintain it because we are, we are maintaining the cloud. Right. Or we're maintaining the, uh, the, the edge node that is running it. All right. Um, this is, this is all really fascinating stuff. I love this. But we are about out of IoT time. So, folks, uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, or anything else, please reach out to me on Twitter. I'm at Ken Briota, and you can also find me at IoT Evolution. Where can folks find you online? They, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, you'll, you'll put my name on the video. So, yes. Yeah, so that's my first name uh, and my last name. That's my, my Twitter account or the scripter.io uh, uh, Twitter account. Or you can go to our website and contact uh, support, sales, Yep. Yep. We're, we're eager to get your questions. <laughs> <laughs> so in short, Google us. And uh, you can also find all the news in the IoT and all our coverage of the IoT Evolution Expo on IoTEvolutionWorld.com. Folks, it's been a pleasure. We're going to be back a lot this week. So for now, that's all our IoT time. Have a great day.